racing at speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. But these greyhounds are running out of time. London's last dog track is closing down. If we keep selling off all our facilities, all we'll end up with is blocks of flats and there won't be anywhere for people to go and enjoy themselves. We'll all have to sit at home looking at computer screens. Wimbledon opened in 1928. It's been home of the big money derby race for more than 30 years. At one time, there were more than 20 dog tracks in the capital. A working man's sport, a place for a burger, a beer and a bet. It's a shambles, but unfortunately there's not that much call for it as there was 20, 30 years ago, so you have to move with the times. I think it's quite sad, but to be fair, it's been here a number of years and we've only made use of it twice in all that time, so... Rising land prices, online gambling and animal cruelty complaints have all helped to sound the death bell. The track will now make way for a new 11,000-seater football stadium for third-tier club AFC Wimbledon, plus 600 homes. Developers say it will benefit Londoners for generations to come, but that's no consolation for race lovers. The passion, the heart will go out of racing for a little while. It will come back, it will pick up another tracks, but this will be a big wrench when this track goes. And I hope the people that are closing it sleep easy. Some dogs will continue racing at tracks outside the capital. Others will be retired and rehomed. But as these punters head for the exit, London leaves behind a little piece of its social history. <laughs>